landing. Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, I just thought I'd make this short video because I, I had to look it up. I think it's a little ridiculous that it made it something so simple, so complicated. But uh, I'm testing the Fly 1.2.2 app and it's supposedly one of the features I wanted to try was the compass. So the first thing I did was I plugged in my iPad mini. And uh, I'm like, hmm, okay, no compass. Disappeared, I don't know, maybe because the iPad mini doesn't have GPS or something built in, I'm like, or true compass, magnetic compass built in. So it's like, okay, maybe that would suck if that was the case. So let me try my phone, because I know that has. And again, what you're seeing now is on the phone and there's no compass in the middle. What? How do you find this compass? Well, here's how you do it. See the map on the left? You click on that. And then on the bottom right, there's this little icon in the bottom right. You click on that and there it is. So now you have your horizontal and your vertical and whatever and whatnot. Let's see how accurate it is. This is the first time I'm actually using it. I'm trying to understand how you actually use it. Let's see if you bring, you can't bring it up any bigger than this, huh? No. Okay, so that says I'm at my home point. Okay, so I guess that's the relation that I am. I'm trying to figure this out. Okay. So if I guess I go out over here. And... I guess that's telling me north, right? And my home point is... I have no idea what this means. I'm gonna have to play with this, but this is how it, uh... This is how it works. Okay, stop sending me, Ray. I'll get back to you, Ray. Um, so I'm gonna take this that it is heading due north and it's to my left. I'm assuming that's what it means. If I point at it, stop. If I point at it, uh, I guess this is in relation to my home point. So now it would be facing towards my home point. I don't know, guys, if I like this. I really don't. I heard this is how the Fly app is, or the Go app is. Same style. Visually, I don't know. So I guess this would mean that it's to the left of me, right? So if I was to come home, it should be now pointed in front of me. So now I'm going to point it back straight to me. And I guess that's kind of right. I guess that's how it works. So it's pointed straight, stop right, straight at me. All right. So then if I do this, the home point is, so now the back of it is directly in front of me. And it's a little off, it's a little off. Stop. It's slightly off, but okay, I think I understand it now. So I didn't realize that the home point um, indicates is replaces that you know that white circle in the the original compass. So that's fairly accurate. It shows you now if I do this that it's in front of me, slightly to the left, pointing due north. I guess it's kind of cool. Man, it's windy out. All right, so I'm gonna bring it back, facing me this way. It shows that it's pointing towards me slightly to the left. That is correct. Stop right. Um, yeah, okay. I get it. I get it. Takes a little bit, little bit of getting used to. Um, but again, not very intuitive as far as how to activate it. Because by default, it just... Oh, Ray... By default, it just uh, 
it has nothing except the map. It's like it disappeared. So let me uh, let me bring it over here. And again, I'll show you. You just bring up. You just click, I guess, on the uh, the bottom right, and it goes back to the traditional map. Click the bottom right again, and it goes to the new compass. I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna. I'm going to go back and uh, I'm going to reserve my uh, my right to say whether or not uh, I like it or not. Um, it's different. I can say I don't like the way that they implemented the activation of it. Um, I do remember when you went in photo mode that it went like you couldn't have the map and the compass at the same time. I guess in that sense you could now. You have the compass. I, the Android hasn't been updated yet. It, updated yet, so I can, I can still compare it to the old, to the new. But again, to activate a switch between map, it's the bottom right. And if you want to uh, minimize this even more, you just click the bottom left. Looks like uh, looks like it's getting beaten up by the wind, but you can see it's a. Uh, it's horizontal orientation. It's a little windy up there. That's kind of cool. That's actually kind of cool. So to me, this thing's blowing from the... Uh, looks like the wind's coming from the uh, east. Nope. Nope. I didn't want to do any of this. <laughs> and none of that either. All right. Anyway, folks, just want to make a short video. Um, and that's that. Check it out for yourself. Later. <laughs>